Japan continues its efforts to convert the JS Izumo DDH-183 and JS Kaga DDH-184 ships, previously used as helicopter carriers, into mini carriers, with a $28 million modernization to deploy F-35B fighters. On the mothership, In this context, the modifications made to the ship JS Izumo, DDH-183, which was converted to a light aircraft carrier, are shown. Officially described as a multi-purpose destroyer, the Izumo is the flagship of the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. The deck's similarity to the U.S. Navy Wasp class LHD draws attention in photos taken after the last changes made to the ship. The ship can carry up to 28 aircraft, or 14 larger aircraft. Only seven ASW helicopters and two SAR helicopters are planned for the initial aircraft complement. For other operations, 400 troops and 53.5-ton trucks, or equivalent equipment, can also be carried. The flight deck has five helicopter landing spots that allow simultaneous landings and takeoffs. Carrier Restrictions in Japan Following this modernization, the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force will have a naval platform capable of carrying fixed-wing fighter aircraft for the first time since World War II. Japan has announced that the F-35B will be deployed to ships as needed, due to sensitivity in overcoming its constitutional limitations on offensive capabilities. Azumo is going through the first phase of conversion work to carry the F-35B. Final conversion work is expected to be completed by the end of 2024. Japan is expected to receive its first F-35B in 2024. It's unclear how many F-35s the two Izumo-class carriers, each 248 meters long and 27,000 tons can carry, but it seems unlikely to carry a large number of aircraft. In 2020, Izumo began the conversion to operate F-35B fighter aircraft. Izumo was undergoing modifications, such as strengthening the heat resistance of the deck and installing power supply equipment to enable the departure and arrival of the F-35B. The renovation work to change the bow shape to a quadrangle for the safe operation of the F-35B and the maintenance of the interior compartments are scheduled to be carried out in the second renovation, starting from the end of 2024. No. Japan isn't going to install catapults and angled decks on its Izumo-class carriers. Regarding a PowerPoint slide that has leaked depicting a drastically refitted Japanese Izumo-class helicopter carrier with a pair of catapults and an angled landing area with arresting cables. In other words, the slide, which is from General Atomics, shows a catapult-assisted takeoff barrier arrested recovery CATOBAR, reimagining of Japan's two largest warships. Then it was proclaimed by another site that Japan has grand ambitions to do this and buy the F-35C to pair with it. The problem here is that there is no actual evidence of this being the case. The fact of the matter is that Japan is already buying 43 short takeoff and vertical landing F-35Bs and is modifying its Izumo-class carriers for this aircraft, specifically. This process has been made easier because, just as posited, the Japanese Ministry of Defense kept this possibility in mind when it originally ordered what are the country's largest warfighting vessels since the end of World War II. In the single slide we have, the modified Izumo class looks pretty cool as a conventional aircraft carrier, but the amount of work that would be required to realize such a conversion would be massive. In addition, although it seems that most people think slapping catapults in an angled flight deck on an existing helicopter carrier is a relatively straightforward way of making a CATOBAR aircraft carrier, it's not. The added systems, mass, and huge changes in weight distribution that the ships were never designed for have snowballing impacts, regardless of cost. The vessel's sea handling, speed, and fuel economy alone can be heavily impacted, and large parts of their interiors would have to be redesigned. That's not saying it is impossible, but it makes little sense. Beyond that, the design shown in the slide is something of a nightmare for CATOBAR operations on multiple levels. A very limited amount of deck space and the inability to launch any aircraft while recoveries are underway are just a couple issues that are glaringly apparent. 
The Essex class from World War II is probably the best example of a relatively straightforward flattop being turned into a post-WWII-era jet-capable carrier, but that was also a major undertaking and those ships were already designed as fixed-wing carriers. More so, in an era where the F-35B is available, an aircraft capable of first day of war operations alongside its ANC variant cousins, such an intricate and risky project has small advantages for this size of ship. Even the US Navy and Marine Corps are still learning just how much combat capability they can squeeze out of their own similar amphibious assault ships with a heavy contingent of F-35Bs embarked. If Japan really wanted to go with a conventional carrier design, then it would be best off just building those ships specifically for the task, not tearing apart the helicopter carriers they already have that were already designed with the F-35B in mind. But once again, there is no great reason for this nor is it anything but a hypothetical drawing as far as well know, and Japan has never shown interest in such an undertaking or footing the bill for introducing a CATOBAR capability into its force structure in the first place.